Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> that was a really great year, guys. I'm glad we can hang out tonight. Dr. Cairns is a great prof. Man, wouldn't it be really cool if Nietzsche just showed up in our time machine? Friedrich Nietzsche. Man, it's an honor! I can't believe you're here. I can't believe you actually used the time machine. Come, sit. Sit. Join me. <coughs> it's my pleasure to introduce to you the 21st century Ubermensch. Ah! Man is something that shall be overcome. What have you done to overcome him? Jesus did it. Jesus? Yes, Jesus has shown us the way. The overman is the meaning of the error. Yes, exactly. This is what Jesus says he is. Let me show you. Doch! Without music, life would be a mistake. Then you're gonna love this. Hyena that wore poetry on tombs. Total wahnsinn. A plump toad which languishes in an zumpf and thinks himself virtuous. Yeah, whatever, dude. Jesus is God. <laughs> Hi, Nietzsche. It's great to meet you. Look, you look uncomfortable. Just so you know, perpetually am I troubled, stirred, frozen, or smothered by the noise of your death. We are forced to gaze into the tales of individual existence, and yet, we are not to freeze in horror. That's true. As a matter of fact, I rise and ebb twice every day. I have two middays and two midnights for the time it takes for your sun to complete its circle. I want to go to man once more. In no way shall I hold you back by the thread of compassion, for I have learned at least this from your wisdom. When the other does not want to hear you, it is better to be silent. Life is covered by a veil of beautiful possibilities, woven with threads of gold, promising, persisting, bashful, mocking, compassionate, and seductive. Yeah, das Leben ist eine Frau. You love women from afar. But fear her close at hand, huh? Um, maybe it's time for someone else to have a turn. Oh, yeah. Nietzsche, I can't believe you're here right now. Here, have a drink. Ah! Das ist weil! But sometimes, struggles are exactly what we need in our lives. If we're going through, through life without any obstacles, that we would be crippled. We would not be as strong as we could have been. Happy to help. Look, I'd really love to know more about you. Uh, what impact do you think you've had on philosophy? My most general project is the introduction of the concepts of sin and value into philosophy. Well, it is clear that modern philosophy has largely lived off you, but not perhaps in the way you would have wished. Perhaps you've met some of your critics already. Es gibt kein Geheimnis, dass die Philosophy of Sense and Values had to be a critique. One of the principal motifs of my work is that Kant had not carried out a true critique because he was not able to pose the problem of critique in terms of value. 
Uh, okay. So would you say the notion of value implies a critical reversal? Yeah, that's still. However, on the other hand, values appear or are given as principles, and the valuation presupposes values on the basis of which phenomena are appraised. So, Nietzsche, what's your evaluation of my friend over there? <laughs> Evaluations, in a sense, are not values but ways of being, modes of existence of those who judge and uh, uh, evaluate. Oh, goat is taught. Ah, the gods are dead, but they died from laughing. Do you mind if I interject? Sure. Go ahead. So what do you think of the party? Mira God, I'd rather be hiking. I can understand that. Well, we're really glad you can make it tonight. Uh, so I was wondering if it would be okay if I asked you just a couple of questions. Yeah. Okay. So I've thought a lot about the way that your thoughts have been taken up by commentators and have maybe deviated from your original intentions. Like what happened with the Nazis, for instance. Yeah, that's fine, and Miss Schlimm. Uh, those cursed anti-Semites shall not sully mine ideals. <laughs> right. Probably one of the worst cases of it. But there's still a lot of it floating around. Many ideas over Wissenschaft and the will to power are regularly perverted into something that they are not. Well, there's this movement called transhumanism. It channels your idea about the will to power and the Ubermensch and aims to fundamentally transform the human condition by developing and making widely available technologies to greatly enhance human intellectual, uh, physical, and emotional capacities. They are particularly interested in the benefits and dangers of emerging technologies that could overcome fundamental human limitations, as well as the ethics of developing using such technologies. Das Wort Obermensch beschreibt a type of supreme achievement, as opposed to modern men, good men, Christians and other nihilists. When I whisper into the ears of some people that they are better off looking for a Caesar Borgia than a Parsifal, they did not believe meine Ura. So, what do you think about the idea of people preserving their bodies in vats after their death so they can be reincarnated? Das ist fast unglaublich! Oh, Gott in Himmel, das ist so Ich gehe nach Hause. I am a god. Don't want life is real, you're a god. Don't want life is real, you're a god.